from an undisclosed location in North America. You are watching Card to Card, and uh, this is episode is called Black Eyed Children. So very scary um, entry into this uh, Card to Card um, series. Um, here is the card. It is from the uh, Nightfall first edition set. Um, Black Eyed Children. And this is art by Seb Botello. So, really creepy art there. You have, um, looks like some kids uh, trick-or-treating trick maybe. And um, they're at the door. You have a, a cat. You got a jack-o'-lantern. Um, and um, they definitely have the, the black eyes. So, what is the deal with this card? What, where did they come up with this card, Black Eyed Children? Well, these uh, entities have been reported um, around, you know, since the 1980s, but were really discussed more around 1996 when this guy named, he was a reporter named Brian Bethel, he uh, wrote articles about them, and he encountered two of them in Abilene, Texas. In 1996 and also in his articles he wrote about someone in Portland Oregon who also had a similar encounter so what are these black-eyed children well I have a picture of one right here so we'll we'll show a picture of, of what a this is an actual picture of a black-eyed children a child and let me tell you it is a little unnerving and I will say just like I always tell you guys uh, viewer discretion is advised um, these uh, videos often show kind of creepy, scary stuff. There is the black eyed child. Now it's kind of a bad photo because it's like really bleached out looking, but you can tell the eyes are pretty much completely black and, um, it's just black bleached out a little bit. The, this child does have a nose is really hard to see. So it's just a, a child. And um, it seems like they, they're they reported to always have like just kind of a, a stare, like a, not smiling, um, not like an emotionless face with that black eyed child. So, um, so what are these, these kids? Um, well, they do appear in like lower populated areas. People have seen them just out in the middle of nowhere they've seen them like in forests they've seen them at roadsides and they also have been known to approach houses asking to be let in with some like little innocent sounding premise like i need to use your phone i need to call my parents blah 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 um and um they have the appearance of children from ages 6 to 16 they've been reported and um of course, as we saw in that picture, they have completely black eyes. And you can also see that in the artwork here on the uh, Seb artwork. So it is also recommended to not let them in your house or your car because this can trigger unwanted, this is a quote, unwanted and horrific, devastating events, unquote. Wow. So... These aren't just like uh, innocent little children needing help. Um, so while appearing as children, um, they can also give off kind of like an unnerving, creep, creepy vibe. So <clears throat> that, that brings up the question, what are they? And what, are, what is the deal? Like, if they're not actually kids needing help, what are they? And how crazy is it that they're kind of, if they're there for some sort of a wicked purpose or something, how creepy is it that they kind of, they look like children, which kind of draws at your heartstrings. You want to help a child if you see a child being help, but you got to trust your gut. If you go to your door and there's this, these kids at your door asking to be let in and you have a really uneasy feel about you know that's when you need to trust your gut and maybe uh just tell them you know 
I'd love to help, but I really can't. <laughs> I don't know what else you have to say to that. But anyway, so that brings the question of what are they? If they're not actually kids, what are they? Well, some people say they are just kids, and maybe it's just people's minds playing tricks on them, and um, and that it's just something innocent or actually kids that need help or want to use your phone or whatever. Um, there's also theories that they're aliens. Like maybe they're taking the form of children to somehow get inside your home. I don't know why they'd want inside your home, but there's been that theory. Also, theory is that they're, you know, some wicked entities, which, yeah, no thank you. So, black-eyed children, very creepy. Now, we do have a video. Now this video it is very scary. This was actually a uh, drone footage. I'm not sure what the uh, drone was being used for, but it was just a drone someone was using and they caught something on the video that they had to double back and try to check out what they saw. So let's go ahead and roll that. And um, reportedly, this was a black eyed child. So viewer discretion extremely advised. Okay, that was not cool. <laughs> that just the concept of these uh, black-eyed children really are creepy. So, um, yeah. So let's. This is the part of the video where we uh, kind of take a look at the uh, the card, see if there's any little uh, Easter eggs on there. Also, that says they will approach houses and and uh, I was just seeing this. This attack is called Midnight Knock. They'll be in the middle of the night coming up to your door knocking, and there's n never a situation where I'm going to want to answer my door in the middle of the night. I don't care who it is. So, um, this has a very uh, Halloween look to it, which, you know, adds to the creepiness. But the artwork is definitely um, themed around, like, trick-or-treaters. And um, definitely, um, they have a very emotionless look to their face, so the uh, artist did their homework on this. So, it says date of birth 1996, and that's exactly what we were researching, Abilene, Texas. So, this is definitely um, based on this, uh, this, what was the guy, Brian Bethel's articles that he wrote. So, the uh, text says, look into their eyes and make your choice. Will it be trick or treat? Um, yeah. How about a third choice? None of the above. So, you know, there's a lot of lessons to be learned on these videos, but this one's definitely, if you're out in the woods, if you're driving along somewhere, if you're at home at night and you see some child that gives you a really bad feeling in, in the back of your brain, um, you definitely need to keep your eyes out. <laughs> 